Hello everyone. I hope you're having a good day today and the lockdown isn't affecting you too much. But if it is, that's okay too. It's normal for these things to bring us down a little. So during this lockdown, I miss my boyfriend and I also miss his cooking too. So today's recipe is his. He's Persian and he calls today's recipe Shule Badam John. I call it stuffed aubergines. If you want to try something new for your lunch or dinner, try out this recipe. It's healthy and it's really tasty and even better, it's easy to make. So let's take a look at the ingredients, shall we? So here are today's ingredients. I have half of a small yellow onion diced very finely turkey mince now if you don't want to use turkey I would also recommend beef and lamb mince and if you're vegetarian of course you can use corn mince just use whatever mince you'd like I have some olive oil here we have four cheese slices I just used the cheap plastic cheese it does the job and here we have salt turmeric and dried oregano or oregano if you're American lots of garlic minced garlic that is and then we have one large aubergine sliced lengthways into four slices now this is optional but I like to serve my stuffed aubergines with homemade garlic sauce. The ingredients I use are mayonnaise, creme fraiche, minced garlic, and fresh parsley. Now let's start cooking. So I have preheated my oven to 200 degrees. And I'm now going to just drizzle some olive oil on the aubergines. Now, if you watched my angry pasta video, you would have seen that I salted the aubergines before I cooked them. But I wanna say to you, if you're gonna cook aubergines in the oven, if you're gonna roast them like I am now, you don't need to salt them. Okay, so we're gonna put these in for 15 minutes. So now, I'm going to flip them over to the other side and then we will drizzle on a little more olive oil. And now we'll put these back in the oven for another 10 minutes. And while they're in the oven, we can get started on the mince. So there's oil in this pan and I put it on a high heat. Yeah, the oil is spreading really quickly. That's how you know the oil is heated up. So in goes the onions and the garlic. So we're gonna let this cook for about five minutes. The onions will become translucent and the garlic will get a darker color. So I actually don't like onions. I can't stand the, the, the bloody things. But um, this is my boyfriend's recipe and he insists that you add onions in this. So that's why I'm doing it for you guys. I'm thinking about doing a video for people who don't like onions and what alternatives there are out there for you guys. So stay tuned for that. So as you can see, the garlic and onion have changed colour. So now it's time to add the turkey mince and the spices. So while this is cooking, you need to break the meat into smaller pieces. So as I told you earlier, I have turmeric in this dish. Now turmeric is a really good spice. Not only does it add 
a beautiful color and flavor to the food, but it's also an antioxidant and it's also an, an um, anti-inflammatory. So if you have illnesses or health conditions like arthritis, for example, it will, it will be like a good natural remedy for it. It'll just make your joints, for example, feel a lot better. Obviously you need to eat it in large quantities though. So this has been cooking for 10 minutes. It looks good to me. And the aubergines should be ready now, so let's have a look. Oh yeah, they're cooked. They look good to me. So now we're going to put the mint on the aubergines. Now I've done this before, and the amount of mince I make is enough for four slices. So just put them on the aubergines in an even quantity. So that's the aubergines ready. Look, I've got no more meat left. So now it's time to put the cheese on top. So we're gonna get a slice of cheese and just tear it and then cover the mince. We'll do that for all the slices. So that's the cheese on top. By the way, you need to be careful when you cook with turmeric because look at all these yellow stains. I'm warning you now guys, don't be surprised. Anyway, we will now put these aubergines back in the oven for five minutes, just enough for the cheese to melt. And while we do that, we're also going to prepare the garlic sauce. So I've heated up some oil in this pan and now it's time to cook the garlic. Ooh. So you don't need to, but I prefer to cook the garlic for my sauce because if you use raw garlic, it just tastes too strong and acidic. So yeah, this looks ready to me. Let's make the sauce now. So for the garlic sauce, you want equal amounts of creme fraiche and equal amounts of mayo. So we're just going to do a tablespoon of each and then we'll mix it. We'll mix that into the sauce and then yeah, you mix and then you taste as you go. So I've added two tablespoons of mayo and two tablespoons of creme fraiche and that looks like a good consistency to me. So we'll add in some parsley, just tear it and then mix it in. So I used mayo but that's quite fatty. So if you want a healthier alternative, Greek yogurt is best for that. There's no set amount of parsley to add, just as much as you'd like. Okay, let's check the aubergines. Oh yeah, that's melted really nicely. Okay, now let's serve up these bad boys. So, once the cheese melted, I put on the garlic sauce and some fresh parsley on top, just to make it look prettier. Okay, now it's time for the taste test. recipe. If you're looking for a new lunch or dinner recipe then check this out. This is a, a wonderful way to cook aubergines. If you like this recipe let me know in the comments and like and subscribe for more amazing recipes. I'll see you next time guys. Bye bye!